Okay, welcome to uh, part zero of this tutorial series. Um, this should just be one or two videos. Um, basically, what we're going to be making is a um, image like this one displaying here that displays your most recent um, video uploaded to your YouTube account. Um, this works using the YouTube API. Um, they have an incredibly complicated API. Luckily for us, um, the part you need to access to create this image is public, which means you don't have to worry about login, which is the complicated part. No idea why it's that as complicated as it is, but there you go. Um, what else have I forgot to say about this, really? There isn't that much to it. Um, the idea behind it is that you can use this video, uh, this video, sorry, uh, this image, like in a forum signature, or you can apply the principle to sort of anywhere, like on your website. You might want to have a little text thing, it doesn't necessarily have to be an image. It just says most recent video or whatever. Um, doesn't even have to be a video. You can get the most recent playlist, you can get like a list of your most recent videos, and I'll go through that as we go along, just to not pad it out, but <laughs> you know, like say a bit more useful stuff, because this image might not be what you're after. Um, this is mine, if you're lucky enough to be a member of my forum that doesn't exist yet, <laughs> or um, a forum that I'm a member of, you may or may not have seen this in my signature. Basically, it's just um, an image that says which m what my most recent tutorial is. Um, the reason I use this as an image is because you can't have dynamic text in a forum signature, so it's quite a nice little thing. Um, there are quite a few things involved. We're just going to be using one file. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it, really. Um, so in part one, we are going to start coding this out, and we'll see how far we get with it. Okay, so thanks for watching, and join me in part one where I'll show you how all of this works.